Hey guys, welcome back to Cash TV. A little bit different today. We are here at Maguire's and are dropping off our barn find E30 M3 convertible to get some serious love. That car's not been cleaned since we purchased it last year. So the car's here, it's gonna get unloaded, then we'll walk around the car and let Dale see it for the first time and see what he thinks of our barn find. Right, Dale? Yes. What do you think? It's a lot worse than, than it is. Um, it's, it's got dust, grime, mold, all the good stuff that we like to remove. All the good stuff, hey? Yeah, all the good stuff that's been protecting it. <laughs> well, the car was sitting outside, so yep. the previous owner, although I call it a barn find, the previous owner had kept it outside. He lived third floor flat. Okay. He lived outside. Yep. Be, uh, next to a hedge, mm -hmm. hence why there's all this moss yes. going over it. Yep. And it's been stored in the over the last six months at our unit. So it's been okay, stored inside, cool. but we have not cleaned it. Not touched it. Not touched it. We haven't even thrown a bucket over it. No. And I've got called out on social media because some <laughs> people have said, you should have cleaned it first. No. Well, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to leave it to yeah. the guys that know what we're doing. I was going to say, doing. why do it yourself when you've got friends? <laughs> there that can you do go. It for you. Work so, smart, um, not hard. Yeah. So <laughs> um, it'd be interesting to see what she looks like yes. underneath all this grime yeah. because Myself and the team are super excited to see what the paint looks like. Yeah, the, the most fun is going to be in the pre-wash. Um, right. So there's a lot of surface contamination here that we want to remove before any kind of contact wash or any correction. So we can hear that there's a lot above surface contaminants. Um, even after a clean, I can imagine it's going to sound like that. Right. Um, so we want to make that as smooth and as glossy as possible. Um, the big things that stand out, obviously, the mold and grime on the hood. Instead of pushing it in, we're going to drag it out um, and get that nice and clean. And then the third one would be kind of the little areas. It's all these inner trims, it's the grill, it's making sure that the little components the look as good as the big bits. The plastics, all the trims, it's making sure that all those little details complement how good the paint's going to look towards the end. Fantastic. Super excited. Interior? Interior? I hate interiors. <laughs> <laughs> Utilising the multi-purpose cleaner, you know, is the reason it's called that is because you can use it everywhere. Really give it that degrease and degrime, and then we'll treat the leather. Obviously, there's only so much we can do to distress leather, but we'll give it a nice clean, go around the dash for our interior cleaner. So guys, the next time I see this car, <laughs> it won't be like this. No, it'll look better than I will at the end of the process. <laughs> It'll be a broken man. <laughs> yeah, you'll talk to Grant on the collection. Right. Nice. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Here yes. are the keys. My winner. And I will see you in a few days. Perfect. Now, let's get into the car wash, starting things off by tackling the brake dust, the grime on the wheels, and then cleaning the bodywork.
to the dreaded convertible hood, which is a bit tricky with the molded fabric. It gets a thorough brushing, followed by a coarse brush to agitate without pushing in the dirt. Finish it off with a shampoo to bid farewell to loose contaminants.
Moving on to step two, cleaning and surface preparation. The smooth surface clay eliminates those bonded contaminants, blemishes, and oxidation that a regular wash can't remove. Now onto polishing. This is where we resurrect the once carbon black paint color with Meguiar's Correction Compound, a heavy duty choice for a neglected barn find like this one, followed up by some wax protection.
finally time to confront the interior, a job not for the faint-hearted, and I do not envy Dell's challenge, dealing with compounds and insects that have made themselves a home.
Guys, a few days on and we are back at Maguire's. Now, I've yet to see the car and I'm super excited because I've seen snippets of pictures and a bit of video showing how clean the car does look, but actually physically seeing the car, I haven't done so yet. Let's get inside. So remember guys, I bought this car six months ago. The previous owner had the car for 19 years. It is a barn find and I haven't washed it in the six months that, uh, since I've owned the car. So yeah, I am super excited. Let's check it out. Wow, that is the same car. Good to see you again. Good I'm still you, here. I'm You're still, still rocking. I'm still alive. How are your shoulders? How are your arms? Good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Luckily, you know, there was a lot Sorry, of that. A lot of wax on, the, wax off. A lot of washing. Um, luckily, you know, it was the two of us, myself and Grant, working on it. We kind of double teamed on it. But yeah, a lovely car to work on. And we always wow. knew when you dropped off, there was a good car underneath. And um, I think it, yeah, I think it looks fantastic. I'm surprised that I can actually see the paintwork. Because nice bit of clarity on there. Um, there's some, you know, it showed his age a bit. There's some de deeper defects that, you know, you could spend a lot of time on, but um, with the time we had, I'm really happy with how, how it's come out. Um, I think it looks fantastic. Well, considering that that moss and yes. that grime was everywhere, was soaked into the paint. Yep. And I actually thought, that you haven't got hope in hell. Yeah, so if you put the back of your hand on the paint, and remember yeah. how rough it felt when you when yes, you yes, off? Yes, yes, yes. Super smooth now. Oh, wow. So it feels as good as it looks. Okay, let's check out the roof. Wow. I'm super amazed that, okay, forget the bodywork. That's yeah. amazing. But the roof, you yeah. know, that moss, there was a layer it of was moss in there. here, yeah. which I thought you will not be able to remove. Okay, it needs a new screen, but the rest of it. If we just wiped it with a towel or a mitt, mm. you're gonna you're gonna push that dirt into the fibre. What we need oh. to do, agitate and foam out. So you need it to lift? Correct, and then exactly remove. that, okay. exactly that. So, took a bit of time. I know Grant has an emotional attachment to this roof now. So I noticed sure. that, I mean, I'm gonna use my torch here. I can actually see quite a few. Uh, deep scratches, deep scratches, straight lines. And there's a few chips in the paint, <laughs> which Correct. obviously, again, these weren't visible before. No. But she's a true car, and yeah. I'm sure you've seen some horror stories, but you've also seen some cars, you look at it and think, actually, this doesn't need a detail. Correct. Yeah. Where would you put this? Where would you rate it against some of the stuff that's been through the bay? As in, like, work-wise, how much work was needed? Yeah. Um, we've had some... We've been catfished a few times. We've also... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we've also... It's a good way of putting yeah. it in place. <laughs> <laughs> but we've also had people that have, like, detailed their cars before coming in because they were so nervous. To do paint work-wise, it's one of the toughest ones we've had, like, with regards to how much kind of embedded defects and stains were in there. But, um, but it was one of the most pleasurable ones I've had um, at the brand, just because the colour's so satisfying to detail. Yeah. And, and the paint's got that real nice hardness to it that you can actually go at it and it's quite re rewarding. You know, typically if you have a car that has soft paint, it's like running your hand through sand. Sure. You'll always see where you've been and they're quite hard to refine. Whereas this one could like take the beat in and it still look great. From what I know, this is the original paint. Oh, nice. The previous owner did not paint the car and he had it for 19 years. Yeah. So it's come up really well, exceptionally and well. And that's, you know, you, you could go to town and wet sand this and stuff like that, but sometimes it's an honest detail is okay. Just give it a, a quick two step, make it look nice and glossy. Cause that's the end of the day, that's what we want. We want mm. Nice shiny paint. Should we have a look at the inside? Yes. The original interior. It's honest. Never, yeah, it's yep. never been touched. Um, there's a, some bolts that damage as well. But ultimately, you put a bit of color back into them, put so a bit of softness. Cleaner. Yeah, so give cleaner. it a huge clean. Oh, you've done the inside of the, the roof as well. Yeah, we tried to, we lifted up the back bit and, um, but yeah, gave, gave the dash some protection. A lot of this era kind of like dash and trim can be susceptible to cracking and, and UV damage. Yeah. So we've cleaned it, gave it some UV protection on there as well, as well as giving it a bit of sheen back rather than shine. I can actually see the color of the carpet. From <laughs> yeah. Right, and let's, uh, let's pop the bonnet. So has it been, satisfying and rewarding for you because you, you saw it last week when we came, yeah. came in and you saw the photo before I sent it. Yeah. To see it in this finished state, I mean, I, I am blown away that this is the same car. <laughs> Thank you very much for yourself and Grant, everything that you've done to this car all the time, uh, the effort, the Maguire's uh, touch that yeah. you've 
you've given my M3. Um, I am lost for words, actually, genuinely lost for words. I knew it would be good, but I didn't know it would be this good. Mm. And yes, you, as you said earlier, these, these lights can be quite harsh. When we pull it outside, I think in the natural light, yeah. it'll probably look even better. Yeah. That'll um, be the next step. So yeah, let's, let's pull the car out, and then uh, we'll talk about the next stage. But for now, <laughs> Yes, thank you. No worries. Thank it's you good. very much. Right, guys, here you go. The car's outside. It's a little bit cold, so I'm going to be very quick and very brief. She looks absolutely amazing. I am blown away. I can't believe this is the same car I dropped here at Maguire's only a few days ago. The black paintwork is gleaming. Guys, lost for words, blown away. Um, but first and foremost, I have to thank Dale and Grant of Maguire's for all the love, the TLC, the time, the effort that they've put into this M3 to make her look the way she does. And doesn't she look pretty? Um, it's now time to get this car loaded up in the transporter, get it back over to Cass HQ, and then we will talk about the next process, which is the sales process. So yes, guys, this car will officially be going up for sale after the next episode drops. What a transformation. Um, guys, you know what you need to do now? You need to smash the like button, Drop a comment below. What do you think of the transformation of our barn find? And also guys, if you love detailing, and if you're watching it now, you probably do, should we bring more of our cars to Maguire's and get them in their bay and get them detailed one by one? Thanks for watching, smash the like button, and I will see you on another episode, either on Cast TV or on Raj's Garage.